Okay, this is to prove that what I've done is found the, the actual temperature that I can use my flashing liquid process and I can create a flammable gas from distilled water. As you can see, I have distilled water. Here is the uh, container, and I'm going to spray it onto the heating element. But I want to show you, this is actually, let me open up my cabinet here, and I'm going to get a glass out so I can drink this. And you'll see that this is actually, now that beep that you hear is, is the uh, combustible gas leak detector. Now right now I'm looking at a drop of water that's that's not going anywhere, it's just floating on the bottom of this pan. And that pan is approximately 230 degrees. Now I'm going to pour some of this water, you, so you can see, this is the stuff I use. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to drink this stuff. That's water. That's pure distilled water. Now, watch. This is a detector. You can see there's no, no gas in there. Now, watch. That is combustible gas, people. That is combustible gas off of water. Distilled water. 230 degrees. I'm spraying the gas, the liquid in, into the pan, and you can see, watch this. Here's the temperature. Okay, let me get this out of here. See, after I sprayed the water in there, it dropped the temperature to 144. Now watch. I'm going to let it get hot again because it takes a large mass to maintain the temperature of the difference in the boiling temperatures of hydrogen and oxygen in water. Watch this again. I don't know what temperature that is. But see, at 140 something degrees it won't do it. Now I'm going to increase the temperature. I'll take it up to say 250 and we'll see what the temperature does, happens. Uh, the the uh, unit sh cycled off because it's reached the temperature. Let me let me take this pan off, and I'm going to uh, cool the pan down just a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to see if this thing will heat it up again. This induction, see this this element here doesn't get hot. It's called an induction heater. It's actually a, a, a coil that reacts to the non-metallic or non-magnetic uh, 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 metal that's in the bottom of this pan. Now you can see it's not even hot. Now let me give this thing a chance. And I'm going to take it back to Go back up to 275. That should cause it to heat up now. Okay, we're coming up now. We're, we're increasing the heat. It's 110. It's climbing pretty fast now. But see, you'll need a large mass. Actually, a resistance heater would be the best thing to work on this with. You can see it's climbing pretty fast now. 
And when this gets up to about 230 degrees, I'm going to spray it again. And you're going to see the you're going to see the flammable gas coming off of the water. This is proof that my flashing liquid can separate the molecules in liquids. Okay, there we are. We're at 230 degrees. Now watch. Now this is this is just the water that's in there that's boiled off because it's reached the right temperature. There it comes. See? There's actually flammable gas coming off there. Now the right temperature can be regulated by increasing the mass on the heating element and decreasing the uh, the the little droplets or the size of the droplets in the that you spray into there. The finer the, the mist and the larger the heat mass, you can maintain that 230 degrees, approximately 230 degrees that I found that will produce a flammable gas from water from plain distilled water. And I'm going to see if it's close again. Yeah, it's close, but it's not, not that close. But you can see. You saw it when I first sprayed it in there because by putting the water in there, it changes the temperature of the metal in there. And, it, and it's so critical because it's only 60, approximately 60 degrees in the temperatures, the temperature differences of the the liquid uh, uh, hydrogen and liquid oxygen the difference is only 60 degrees in their boiling temperatures and that's why you have to have the large mass and you want the finest mist that you can spray on there and you will produce all the hydrogen that water contains within it I just proved it